For those who may not know, Invictus comes from Latin, meaning undefeated or unconquerable. Nelson Mandela credited the poem of the same name. Hello, fellow squaddies. Welcome to Royal Telly. I'm your host, Chloe. Today we are here to celebrate the Invictus Games, a beacon of strength, unity, and purpose, as highlighted in the Duke of Sussex's inspiring acceptance speech at the 2024 East PI Awards. This speech, filled with passion and sincerity, underlines the essence of the games and the profound impact they have on athletes and spectators alike. The Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry, also took the opportunity to define the games for critics and haters, providing a deeper understanding of what Invictus truly stands for. The Invictus Games, named after the Latin word for undefeated, symbolize the indomitable spirit of the participants who, despite their personal struggles, continue to strive with unwavering courage and determination. Their stories of resilience and triumph inspire us all reminding us the power of unity in overcoming adversity. So let's embark on this journey together to delve deeper into the heart of the Duke's acceptance speech and unearth the true meaning of Invictus. Let's dive into the heart of Prince Harry's acceptance speech and unearth the true meaning of Invictus. Prince Harry began his speech by defining Invictus. The word Invictus is a Latin term that translates to undefeated or unconquerable. It's a term that embodies the indomitable spirit of the human will, a testament to the resilience that exists within each of us. One of the most notable figures in history who embraced this spirit was Nelson Mandela. The former South African president credited the poem titled Invictus, penned by the poet William Ernest Henley, as his source of strength during his nearly three decades of imprisonment. The poem, much like the spirit of the Invictus Games, has a timeless and universal relevance. It speaks to the human condition, our shared experiences of struggle and triumph, and our collective ability to rise above adversity. For those who may not know, Invictus comes from Latin, meaning undefeated or unconquerable. Nelson Mandela credited the poem of the same name, written by the poet William Ernest Henley, for giving him the strength to endure nearly 30 years of imprisonment. Like that poem, the spirit of the Invictus Games transcends race, time and borders. It is born from unity and exudes purpose. The Invictus Games, much like the poem, transcend race, time and borders. They are the embodiment of unity and purpose, a testament to the power of the human spirit. Moreover, the Invictus Games serve a critical purpose in our society today. They help us reach out to those who need the spirit of Invictus the most, particularly our veterans. In this country alone, more than 20 veterans a day are tragically taking their own lives. The Games, through their focus on unity, resilience, and the power of sport, provide a beacon of hope and a platform of support for these brave individuals. And so, the spirit of the Invictus Games, according to Harry, transcends race, time, and borders. It's a spirit that is born from unity, that exudes purpose. It's a spirit that is invincible, just like the athletes who compete in the Games. It's a spirit that, in these challenging times, reminds us of the power of unity, the power of resilience, and the power of the human spirit. So let us celebrate the spirit of Invictus as we cheer on the athletes at the Games and as we strive to embody this spirit in our own lives, the spirit of the Invictus Games is about more than just sport. It is a beacon of hope, a symbol of resilience, and a testament to the unconquerable human spirit. Derived from Latin, Invictus translates to undefeated or unconquerable. And that's exactly what these games represent. An unyielding spirit, an unwavering determination, and an unbroken will to triumph over adversity. When the Duke of Sussex spoke about the spirit of Invictus, he didn't just refer to the strength of the competitors, but also to the unity that the games bring forth. Like the poem, the spirit of the Invictus games transcends race, time, and borders, he said. It's a spirit born from unity, the kind of unity that reverberates in every cheer, every applause, every triumph, and every fall. This unity is the heart of Invictus, a unity that is both inspirational and aspirational, in a world often marked by division and discord. The Invictus Games exude a purpose that goes beyond the realm of sport. 
It's a purpose that resonates with those who have seen the face of adversity and bravely chosen to rise above it. It's a purpose that reaches out to the veterans who need Invictus the most, offering them a lifeline of hope and courage. The Duke shared a sobering statistic to underscore this point. More than 20 veterans a day take their own lives in this country alone. Moments like these help us reach those that need Invictus most and reduce more than 20 veterans a day talking, taking their own lives in this country alone. This is a reality that the Invictus Games seek to change by offering a platform of positivity, camaraderie, and resilience. The spirit of Invictus is transformative, creating a life-changing impact on the competitors and everyone they inspire. It is a spirit that echoes in the halls of every stadium, every arena, and every heart that has been touched by these games. For Harry, the Invictus Games are a testament to unity in a world marked by division. They serve as a reminder that even in the face of adversity, we can rise, we can triumph, and we can remain unconquerable. As we look forward to the next chapter of Invictus, we do so with the knowledge that this spirit will continue to inspire, to unite, and to conquer. Harry spoke about the beauty of the Invictus Games. He paints a vivid picture of a unity that transcends borders and backgrounds. Within the heart of the games, there's a unique blend of courage and mutual respect. Athletes from all walks of life come together, each with their unique tapestry of experiences, each with their own personal challenges to overcome. Yet they all share a common denominator, their indomitable spirit, their Invictus spirit. The beauty of the Invictus Games lies in how it brings people together, no matter one's nationality, background, or personal struggles. It is a collective built from courage and mutual respect. The Duke of Sussex beautifully encapsulates this spirit. Like that poem, the spirit of the Invictus Games transcends race, time, and borders. It is born from unity and exudes purpose. The Invictus Games aren't just about competition and medals. They're about camaraderie and understanding. They're about celebrating the power of the human spirit, the power to rise above adversity, to remain unconquered in the face of life's toughest battles. This unity, this sense of togetherness, is the cornerstone of the Invictus Games. It's a collective built on courage and mutual respect, a space where athletes discover the common denominator of their humanity. Harry further emphasizes this, saying, Our community challenges that. Our community proves that unity is not just possible, but formidable. We live in an age marked by polarization and division. Conflicts rage around the globe. Anger and resentment towards those who are different seem to pervade societies everywhere. Our community challenges that. Our community proves that unity is not just possible, but formidable. He's referring to the unity within the Invictus community, a unity that challenges the polarization and division we see in societies today. The beauty of the Invictus Games is in its ability to bring people together regardless of their nationality, their background, or their personal struggles. It's about fostering a sense of unity and camaraderie, about encouraging mutual respect and understanding. It's about acknowledging and celebrating the strength of the human spirit, the power to endure, to overcome, to remain unconquered. The Invictus Games challenge the polarization and division that pervade societies everywhere. And that, my dear friends, is the true beauty of the Invictus Games. This year, we are celebrating 10 years of the Invictus Games, a decade of resilience, strength, and unity, a decade of witnessing the unconquerable spirit of those who refuse to be defeated, those who, through sheer determination and the power of sport, have found a way to heal and thrive. In these 10 years, we've seen the Invictus Games grow from a simple idea to a global phenomenon. From that inaugural event in London, where we saw the spark ignited, to the most recent games, we've borne witness to countless stories of courage, of triumph over adversity, of camaraderie, and of the human spirit's unyielding resilience. Indeed, the progress made since those first games is nothing short of remarkable. We've seen athletes from all around the world, men and women who have faced the unimaginable, come together in a shared purpose showing us all that unity is not just possible, but formidable.
Yet, as the Duke of Sussex so aptly pointed out in his speech, the world outside seems to be in an even more precarious state. Conflicts rage, divisions widen, and intolerance seems to be on the rise. But within the heart of the Invictus community, there is a beacon of hope, a beacon that challenges the status quo that stands against division and champions unity and respect. The Invictus Games isn't just about sport, it's about the power of the human spirit, about the strength found in unity and mutual respect. It's about demonstrating that no matter our background, our nationality, or the personal struggles we face, we are all part of the same human family. And so, as we celebrate 10 years of Invictus, we also celebrate the unity and purpose that the games stand for. We celebrate the athletes who, through their strength and determination, inspire us all. And we look forward to the next decade of Invictus, confident in the knowledge that the spirit of these games, the spirit of Invictus, will continue to shine brightly, showing us all that we are indeed unconquered. That brings us to the end of our discussion about the Invictus Games. I hope you're leaving with a deeper understanding of the significance of this wonderful event. Remember, Invictus, a Latin term meaning undefeated or unconquerable, is more than just a game. It's a testament to the indomitable spirit that the athletes embody. As the Duke of Sussex pointed out, it transcends race, time, and borders, fostering unity and purpose. Celebrating its 10th anniversary this year, the Invictus Games have continuously shown us that unity is not just possible, but formidable. It's a gathering that brims with courage and mutual respect, where athletes, despite their personal struggles, come together as a testament to humanity's resilience. Thank you for joining us today, fellow squaddies. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to Royal Telly.